Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 19th, 2024, first day of spring. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you your spray space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here, looking at our sun for the past 48 hours of imagery, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with Daily Events Worldwide, no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections since yesterday's update. But we do have a sizable sunspot region turning in. On the right-hand side is visible here with cresting imagery of our sun incoming. Also, pretty sizable coronal hole in which I poured it up, pointed out yesterday. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing see in the last few images around the equator of the sun which is center there plasma filament racing and leaping from the surface of the sun having a look at multi-spectrum here pointing out the last 48 hours of events multiple c-class solar flares and as well another m-class solar flare after last night's update there is that big coronal hole getting ready for an Earth-facing event. And then another light here, observing seven sunspot regions that are active on our sun. And the one in the northwest region, which is the top left, is a very large sunspot. Big black hole in the center of it. And it is visible here under this infrared imagery. very large sunspot region almost echoing in the south there a little earth to scale size comparison it's about three times the size of earth current space weather conditions we are under r1 a minor radio blackout impacts expected multiple c-class solar flares today solar winds are coming in at 403 kilometers per second right now Looking at the solar X-ray flux, you can see throughout the day today, after the M-class solar flares from yesterday, multiple C-class. Solar proton flux coming down to a more regular level and geomagnetic activity hopping up to a 2. As we are expecting our space weather event tomorrow and into the day after. Having a look at the space weather prediction spiral here. Expected arrival 20th into the 21st. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the same thing. Most recent CME taking off. Little yellow circle there is Earth. All that space weather spinning around our sun and now heading our way. Let's have a current look at our magnetosphere, this is showing our pressure planes. Not too bad right now. Solar winds as they're coming in over 400 kilometers per second. Every so often you can see the green on the dark side of our, uh, on the dark side of our planet. It's kind of a void. And then having a look at Alaska 2, showing the last 48 hours of events. As we've got some missing data, watch on the 18th. There's about nine hours missing. And that's right about the time of the most recent M-class solar flare. So data missing. Happens every so often. Got to really wonder what they're hiding though. Let's have a look at earthquakes for the past 24 hours. Recently, sizable earthquake 5.5 here. Kermadec Islands region. As well, a 4.5 there. Vanuatu, 185 kilometer depth. That's the deepest earthquake the past 24 hours. Timor Leste, pretty deep earthquake there as well. Quiet through the Philippines plate though. 4.9 earthquake there. Taiwan, and as well, northern Japan here with a 4.6. Pretty deep for the region. Just recently seeing more activity in Nushki. Pakistan after 5.4 yesterday or 5.5 yesterday 5.4 today and then Alaska increased seismicity here Yakutat 
Alaska with a 4.5 magnitude. That's sizable for the region as well. Across the United States and Canada, no major earthquakes to report or swarms, but Petrolia seeing the largest magnitude with a 3.4. As well, notable increasing activity all up into the Pacific, Pacific Northwest right now. Pretty deep earthquake here. Caribbean plate subduction zone. 4.6 magnitude earthquake there. Heads up. Multiple volcanoes through the region. South American plate. 4.6. And that was from yesterday. Quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers around the world. And I'm going to be doing my best here to keep that live stream going, guys. We had quite a conversation going in there today. It's not surprising that it was shut down after about 30 minutes, 35 minutes of comments. So please check out that most recent stream that I tried to upload and stay live today. And I will be getting that live stream back up. So stay tuned. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by the Iceland Volcano yet again. Large SO2 plume across the North Atlantic and stretching across the Northern Hemisphere right now. Being wrapped up in multiple systems as Iceland is seeing multiple low pressure systems come through. There are three cones right now that are still very active with fountains of lava spewing from them. Most of the energy is at those three cones. The valley and peninsula seems to be filling up with lava right now. Having a look at Southern Hemisphere, South America, South Africa. And as well over Southeast Asia, Australia, and Russia. Lots of SO2 coming out of Japan. But most of the SO2 particulates are coming from the Iceland volcano, which has erupted yet again, the fifth time in the past two years. Quick glance here around the rest of the world, still some SO2 particulates being picked up in the southern hemisphere. And as well, eastern Russia, Kamchatka, four volcanoes through that region. Now let's get to weather brought to you by windy.com starting out here overlooking North America as we've got a low pressure system that's bringing snow across Ontario and is set to whip through the Atlantic provinces Friday into Saturday big stormy conditions extreme weather event for Florida Panhandle and southeastern United States and then a couple days later Colorado low develops and heads north into Canada as a very large system in the long range heads for the west coast, British Columbia. That will be a very windy and wet event for the long range forecast. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Multiple systems heading up into Iceland this week. One, two, three low pressure systems. Very strong winds, blizzard like conditions. And watch through the coastal regions this weekend for the United Kingdom and as well Finland and Sweden. And then long range forecast, very big low pressure system getting ready in the North Atlantic to hammer the coastline as far south as Morocco and parts of Northern Africa. Overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. No major typhoons developing in the long range, but keeping an eye on a pretty wet and strong system that's going to be heading through the Northern Territory of Australia. Long range forecast shows that whipping southward towards Sydney. Towards the end of the month. And then a quick browse here over the North, North Pacific as multiple systems will be coming through this week, most of them tracking more northward towards Alaska. But watch for that high pressure ridge to get squished and squashed southward. And then those lows will start coming into the BC coastline, Washington, 
in Oregon. Long range forecast. It's going to be moisturous. And welcome, everybody. This is the first day of spring 2024. And this is our polar vortex right now, overlooking the northern hemisphere. As the southern hemisphere polar vortex is already setting up, getting ready for winter in the southern hemisphere. Much love, everybody, and thank you so much for subscribing to Daily Events Worldwide. I appreciate all of the love and support to this channel, all of the memberships. Look at that, Southern Hemisphere Polar Vortex already setting up. Heads up, everybody, and much love to all my Aussie friends down there. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.